Welcome to this Palms demonstration video called Rolling Rounder. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to model rocks becoming smoother after they roll and bump into each other. Have you noticed some rocks are rounder and smoother than others? You may have seen some of these smoother rocks in a lake or river, or perhaps at the beach. Rocks hitting against each other again and again when they move in the water bumps off any bits that stick out. This will eventually make their edges rounder and smoother. The little bits that break off are called things like sand or silt. This may take a very long time or be quicker if the water is very fast flowing. We call this process weathering. How can we model rocks bumping together in our experiment? By shaking small biscuits in a jar, of course. This will copy what happens to rocks in rivers and other moving water. For this activity, you're going to need a small jar or strong, clear plastic container. It must have a well sealing lid. Something like a jam or mustard jar is great. You'll also need six mini biscuits to be your rocks. You'll also need a plate or a tray and a pencil and paper or camera to record your results. Here's some tips for selecting your materials. It's best to use plain biscuits, otherwise they just stick in the jar. Sugar cubes are a good alternative to biscuits also. Make sure the biscuit you choose crumbles quite easily. If you're doing this activity with younger children, little hands need little jars or containers, and plastic may be preferable for safety. These are some examples of things you can use as the rocks in your experiment. We'll show you how all of them work a little bit later. Before we start our experiment, you need to make a prediction. What's that? A prediction is an educated guess or a guess you make using everything you know at the moment. You need to predict which bits of biscuit are going to break off first. Even though we're using some yummy materials, we don't use our sense of taste in science most of the time, so we can't eat our results for this one. You might be lucky to have some leftover biscuits you didn't use in the experiment though. We're going to make sure we use good scientific method so we are fabulous junior scientists. This means we need to keep as many things the same as we can, use just one type of biscuit, if possible, use biscuits that are the same shape or character. Use a clock or timer so you always shake for the same amount of time. Try and shake with the same strength each time, even if your arms get tired. The best science experiments are the ones we repeat many times. So if you have enough biscuits, do the experiment again or compare your results with others who've done the same experiment. Now we're ready to start. Place three biscuits in the jar and put the lid on. Leave the other three biscuits on the plate or tray. Draw a picture or take a photo of the biscuits on the plate. Shake the jar hard for 30 seconds. Take turns with friends if you need to. After 30 seconds, open the jar and tip everything onto the plate so you can observe it. Compare the biscuits you shook with the ones that remained on the plate. What's changed? What has been made by shaking the biscuits? Record your results with a drawing or photo. Here's our results with the shaken biscuits on the right and the unshaken on the left. Poor monkeys! You might like to pause the video now and consider these questions. Which parts broke off first? What has happened to the size of the biscuits? How has the biscuits shape changed? Is there something that has been made by shaking the biscuits? Describe it. Here's a harder question. If these were rocks that had been shaken instead of biscuits, what would the crumbs be? The crumbs would be sand or silt that gets formed. We also tried a range of variations on the experiment. Here's what we found. First, we used mini scotch finger biscuits. Here's our results. Then we used tiny teddy biscuits. These are our results. This time we tried using sugar cubes instead of biscuits and got these results. We also tried putting one of each kind of biscuit and a sugar cube all in together. This is the result we got. How about if we put a bouncy ball in with the biscuits? Will it make a difference? Here's what happened. 
Let's compare these biscuits with the ones shaken without the bouncy ball. Looks like the ball broke the monkeys a bit more. So what are some examples of this you might find around you? You might see rounded pebbles or rocks in a river or at the beach. You might see some shiny tumbled gemstones or rocks at a shop or in someone's collection. Now you've learned more about the process of rolling rounder, here's some other things to consider and try. Do different flavours of the same biscuit give the same result? What happens if you put more than three biscuits in the jar? How about less than three? What difference will it make if you shake the jar for longer? Does the size of the jar change your results? Go exploring and try and find some rounded rocks near you. Thanks for watching this Palms demonstration video. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit our website palms.edu.au